Hey guys, what's going on? Sam here. Welcome back to another video. Got some info today on iOS 13.4.1, the next software update that Apple is going to be releasing. Got some details on not only what is coming in this update, but also when exactly Apple is going to be releasing this. Some info you might not be hearing anywhere else. So drop a like if you're excited for this video per usual. It does seriously help me and the channel out and hit subscribe so you stay up to date on the latest Apple news. So this time around, Apple is way ahead of the release cycle. We didn't see the iOS 12.4 release until July sometime of that year. So we're already on 13.4 and it's not even April yet. Does that mean there's going to be a 13.5 update or something like that coming? I honestly don't know. I doubt it though, because if you actually look over on Apple's website, you can see that all of the promised features from the get-go, from June of 2019, they're complete. They're all in iOS now, which begs the question, well, what's coming in iOS 13.4.1 and how do you even know it's coming in the first place? Well, talking to my friends over at the Verifier and they let me know that Apple is working on iOS 13.4.1 it could actually be dropping as a developer beta as soon as later this week. That being said, and highlighted in this Bloomberg article from just a few hours ago, Apple employees uh, are working from home due to the current global occurrence that is happening. So everything is more of a mix than it usually is, and this update could be delayed by a couple of weeks, but initially it was planned to be released later this week, and it possibly still might. And interestingly enough, it could actually be a developer beta, where Apple tests this with developers and public beta testers for a while before releasing it to everybody else. So alongside the standard improvements and bug fixes of which we don't have the specifics on just yet, Apple themselves has actually confirmed that they're working on a pretty big fix for VPN support. Now VPN, anti-abbreviated, is a virtual private network, meaning that you're creating your own sort of, uh, think of it as a private tunnel between you and who you're sending and receiving information from. Nobody else can look in. However, a VPN company recently discovered that that was actually not happening. In fact, your existing connections, let's say you're connected to apple.com, for example, are supposed to be rerouted through this special VPN whenever you enable it. And while some or even most of your existing connections would be rerouted through your VPN, some wouldn't, and they could last for minutes to hours, leaving some of your traffic exposed in a way that you were not aware of. So essentially, this completely invalidated the use of a VPN in the first place. Now, Apple, again, says there is a fix on the way, and in the meantime, this VPN company has said a good workaround is to simply enable airplane mode and then to turn it back back off. This is going to make sure that all of your connections sort of reconnect through the special VPN pathway. I really wanted to get the word out there. If you do use a VPN and you are dealing with a lot of sensitive data or personal data that you for sure don't want anybody to have access to, you're going to want to do this workaround. Unfortunately, every single time you initially connect to a VPN, which is frustrating, but Apple apparently has a fix coming very soon, which is good news. Aside from that, we know of no other confirmed changes coming in this update. And it's possible, again, Apple could push this VPN bug back, but since it is a relatively large issue, I have a feeling they will be taking care of it sooner rather than later. I'll keep you updated per usual when we learn more, but that's all I've got for you in today's video. So stay safe out there. Hope you guys are doing well for real. Thanks for watching and drop a like if you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe for more. I'll catch all of you in my next video.